Have you ever wondered how certain cryptocurrencies manage to bounce back from major setbacks and soar to new heights? Well, let's take a closer look at the story of Vaccine. Outside of the book is called Five Works, about a, a very, very intimate of a great way. It very locate itself to talk about indigenous family. You know, well, just a year ago, SLL experienced a devastating collapse following the bankruptcy of FTX, one of the most popular cryptocurrency exchanges at the time. Uh, the founder of FTX, uh, Sam and Big Fried, had misappropriated user funds, leading to uh, loss of trust and a sharp uh, decline in Sol's value. In fact, the coin plummeted to as low as $8 in the fourth quarter of 2022. Um, but fast forward to uh, today, um, and, and Seoul has not only recovered from its uh, post-FTX losses, uh, but has also become uh, one of the top performing coins in the market, according to Gather and CoinMarketCap. SOL is currently changing hands above $36, reaching its highest level since 2023. This impressive surge represents a staggering 150% increase from its November 2022. What's even more remarkable is that uh, Sol is outpacing the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum, two of the most well-known cryptocurrencies. Uh, while both Bitcoin and Ethereum have also experienced coined and natural significant rallies, with their prices increasing by over 100% from their 2022 lows, uh, Sol's growth has been more, even more impressive. Uh, if we take a closer look at the daily chart, we can see that Sol is within a bullish breakout formation. It is trending above the July 2023 high reign of around $32, indicating a strong upward momentum. The rising trading volume further supports this uptrend, suggesting that optimistic traders are backing SOL's resurgence. Uh, technical indicators such as the, the Bollinger Bands also confirm the bullish uh, sentiment surrounding Sol. The bull bars are riding the upper Bollinger Bands, diverging from the middle band, which indicates high volatility and potential for further price increases. Uh, but what about the bankruptcy trustee of FTX? Why do they stake their Sol holdings? Well, it turns out that FTX uh, was one of the largest holders of SOL with roughly 16% of the outstanding supply. When FTX filed for bankruptcy protection, it had a significant impact on the Solana ecosystem, causing SOL prices to plummet. However, the bankruptcy court ruling allowed FTX to sell and invest its crypto holdings to repay creditors. In a surprising move, the FTX estate decided to stake $5.5 million dollars so, indicating a bullish outlook on the coin. By staking SOL, they not only have the option to liquidate it at any time, but also stand to receive more SOL as rewards. Uh, despite this optimistic stance, um, recent reports suggest that the FTX estate uh, has unstaked 1.6 million SOL, raising questions about their future plans. Uh, will these coins be sent to exchanges for liquidation? Uh, potentially impacting um, Saul's price once again only time will tell uh, uh, in conclusion the story of Saul's recovery uh, is a testament to the resilience and potential of cryptocurrencies uh, from a devastating collapse to becoming one of the top performers uh, SOL uh, has defied the odds and captured uh, the attention of investors worldwide so uh, if you're looking for a coin uh, that has proven its ability to bounce back uh, SOL might just be the one for you and now for a lighthearted note on the subject, why did the cryptocurrency go into therapy? Because it had too many issues to hash out. Um, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.